Hey, it's the Scott's Test Dummies. We're coming to you right before Halloween. All Hollows Eve. What do we got, Scott? Corsair, Pumpkin, Spice, Moonshine. I threw it to him because he said sometimes I mess up the title. I think I got it right. You got it. Let's test it. Test it! A coaster. All right, Scott, we got pumpkins on scene. We got pumpkin spice. It's a whole Halloween deal. We thought about masks. We are, we, let's, right up front, we are diverging a little bit. Normally, this should be a scotch or a world whiskey. Boom. Since Halloween is right around the corner. Yep. We decided to do, actually, we probably had this last year. We did. I, and, my and tasting notes are from August 2016. We probably didn't get around to do another. Since I've purchased this, I've toured the Corsair Distillery in Nashville. Ah. Oh, yeah. that's right yeah just a few weeks ago yep i didn't try it there they had it there <laughs> so but and then by the way my Riedel glass my cognac glass broke one sad yeah. day we've had a lot of people point out they're fragile oh god and oh my god yeah my boy be. to this day i come home and I, i'm like hey where was my corsair glass or corsair glass my Riedel cognac glass that was sitting here i don't know don't know where it is and then Liz, the wife comes home, is like, oh, it was broken in the sink. <laughs> Bull, my 10 year old, I'm like, hello. He goes, why you blame me? Maybe it fell. Mm -hmm. Poltergeist did it. He, and to this, he came up to me yesterday morning, like two days after. He's like, I feel that you still think I did it. I just kind of looked at him like, why would you think that? See? See? <laughs> He's like, I didn't. I go, okay, buddy. I don't, that's fine. I said, it's just my favorite glass. Makes me feel fancy, even when good, trying moonshine. Good thing you had a backup. <laughs> yeah, and then Liz almost broke this. Ooh. I set it off to the side, but unfortunately, it was near where the light switch was. And she goes, I reached around to get it, and I almost knocked it over. And I'm like, Whoop, okay, this is living only at the bar from now on. Mm -hmm. All right, so first yeah. of all, clear, like moonshine. I was misled or misbelieved. Mm. Ooh. I thought moonshine was always a higher proof. Like just distilled unaged spirit unaged is what it is yeah must be because this is 42 percent yeah yeah all i think moonshine yeah, 42 is and unaged. a half aged yeah must it be. hasn't been aged so white lightning maybe moonshine. that's from from my tv experience you know dukes of hazard and and uh oh because it was Hillbillies. always so high proof that yeah. it could run yeah cars and stuff yeah they could get a boost for the old general lee yeah so i thought moonshine was that show would proof. never be on anymore <laughs> <laughs> shooting bow and arrows jumping stuff boss hog scotch god shout out oh yeah before we get into nosing it this actually smells pretty good now go raster mm, raster uh, on, interesting on fella. bib and tucker yes he says every time i see you two doing a review mm. i'm so relieved yes I won't give my reasons again. It's just nice watching a review with the two of you getting along. He thought the the boy band was about to break up. <laughs> I think I replied to that one, Yoko or something. I said something like, no Yoko. Well, something yeah, he said, ha, yeah. I enjoy all your reviews. You guys are great. Right. And then you said, hold on, where's Yoko? Yeah, hold on, where's Yoko? Because he had, uh, in an in a earlier post, he alluded that we were like the Beatles about he, to break up. Well, he had gone through the Beatles breakup, and he didn't want to have to. Now, some it. people think you either got, I punched you in the neck, or you got a hickey. Do you want to address that or leave it just unknown? Well, we talked about it on the live stream. That is true. Some people don't tune into live. They should. Mm -hmm. Tune into the live show or go back and watch it. So there you go. All right, what do you get on this? The nose is definitely unaged spirit. Right, and you know how we know that? After we did the white dog. Yep. And how do you pronounce, someone told us how to, uh, Gatch and said po poutine. 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 Poutine or poutine? Poutine, I thought. <laughs> We're still, see, we learn. We learn. It looks like we said poitin. <laughs> yeah. It's P-O-I-T-I-N. That's like an Irish white dog. Yeah. Poitin. Poutine. Poutine. I think it's poutine. Poutine. Personally, I like the sound of poitin, but we knew that was going to be wrong because it's not how it looks. On the nose, I literally listed back in August of 2016, alcohol slash pumpkin pie, which I do still kind of get. It smells like the, a baked, a little bit of pumpkin pie with the, with the graham cracker crust, which is pleasing. It's one of my favorite things around the holidays. Well, I was gonna, I was reading the label, but I was gonna say cinnamon and nutmeg, hmm. but which is looking at the label, 
Uh, this unusual white dog whiskey is inspired by pumpkin ales. We pot distilled malted barley and malted wheat to make a sweet malt whiskey. Next, we load our pot stills vapor basket with ginger, nutmeg, allspice, cinnamon, and pumpkin. And then they redistill the whiskey to infuse and marry all the flavors. So that just sounds neat. And it says pumpkin pie in a glass. Ooh. I don't know if I'd go in it. Well, I mean, on the nose. The vapor basket. I, I toured them, and I, they, I think they explained that they can literally suspend, like, a basket in there that picks up whatever they put in. I could be way wrong. The uh, You know that. Yeah. I may have missed that whole thing. Yeah, she was there. Yeah, the gal's like, what? We never even talked about the vapor basket. <laughs> uh, pretty smooth, and I've got in my notes better than a couple of other white dogs that I've had mm. that have been rougher. Mm. And I found at home well, another white dog or two that we didn't include. We sh I should have brought over and had in our little white dog. By the comparison. way, we should correct for the record, Claire the Third sent those to us. Yeah. Didn't he send both? No, no just the Buffalo. Just the Buffalo, the Buffalo Trace, Trace white dog. Yeah. And I couldn't remember at the right. time when yep. we were filming where it came from. I was, I was drawing a blank. Now, the, the Poochine, I knew I bought from Plaza, mm. Wine and Spirits. Got it. Go Plaza. But the Buffalo Trace, I was just like, where did that Classic. come from? I don't remember buying that. Claire. Because you were like, you bought both of these. Yeah. I was like, okay. Put it in your mind. Once again, you shouldn't listen to me. And then as soon as you edited that one, and as soon as you uploaded it, You're and like, I was watching mm. it, I go, Claire Ooh, sent that. Claire. As soon as I was watching it. Hmm. Um, the spices really are slight, almost more, the spices are almost more on the nose yeah. than they are on the palate. You're reading me. I literally on taste is smooth with just a hint of spice. Mm -hmm. And then I got a cool phrase, a peekaboo pumpkin hint at the end. Peekaboo. little pumpkin pie playing peekaboo with yeah, it. Yeah, a little peekaboo. It is. Peek it's in pumpkin. the aftertaste. Yeah. There's a nice, uh, there's a nice sweetness in there. You do get some of that unaged corn alcohol mm. as well. Um, but it's not as rough as mm -hmm. it is with the other white dogs. Very smooth. Very smooth. Yeah. <clears throat> Blind, just because of the spices that's in there, you might not think this was a white dog, an un unaged spirit. Blind, I think it would. It's still got a little bit of that harshness, though. And, uh, yeah. you know, it hasn't been <laughs> it's, it's smoother, but it hasn't been fully rounded by time obviously in the wood i'm with you i don't know if i would pick it out as a white dog but i do get some remember how you reference it a little bit of that sour taste that you'll get from mm -hmm. from yeah. the raw More like, a, like yeah. a sour wood right and there's a, there's a little bit of that in there not much but the the slight spices being in it do i think help cover some of that up cover up the unaged spirit aspect of it mm -hmm. um by the way, this is batch 43, bottle 341 out of 1,000. And then Derek Bell. So tell uh, tell everybody a little bit more about the, you went to the Corsair Distillery. Yeah, in, in Nashville. Nashville. And uh, it, was, it was kind of uh, interesting because this was their, well, they have a tap room that actually is a brewery as well. And my understanding is that was their very first location. And then they've, they, they now do a majority, like 80 some percent out of this other location that's also in Nashville. So we went there, uh, it was odd, from Kansas. And as we're showing up, uh, we, I'd been there right after the very first hurricane and dumped all the water in Houston. What is that one called? I forget now, because Marie's the one that's uh, Harvey. on. Harvey had hit. And that rain was coming through. So there was this torrential rain. We get in there and then tornado sirens, just like here, start going off. Hmm. And I'm like, what is that? And they're like, we never hear those. I'm like, well, we hear them all the time. Yeah. I'm you know, a professional. Yeah. But, but does, back, let me does go look. this mean you're literally getting hit by a tornado? Because I am in a distillery. In light, and they were like, well, we're not sure what to do. And we're like, well, one of us kept eye just to see if there was a funnel coming in. Mm. And the rest of us 
gullied up. You got to go outside and look at the sky when yeah, the tornado sirens check. go off. Go check. That's a so good thing. Go outside and yeah. look around. Do we have a funnel cloud? Which way is yeah. the wind blowing? Because yeah. that'll where tell you it? where to look. Yeah. As long as it's daytime. Night, whole different thing. Well, the wind will tell you unless you're like right in the eye of it. Right. You know, because yeah, you might not know which way it's going. There you go. And uh, and then it turned off. So we went and did the tour. And I was amazed how actually small the facility was. It's a very... It's not <coughs> as industrial as I thought. I mean, it's still kind of that, you know, it was an open, almost garage hangar feel where they're doing all the distilling. And then there was a giant garage door and you go in and they got all their barrels in there and, and they're all lined up and they use a lot of smaller barrels. Not, they had some bigger ones, but they had some small, it was just, it was a lot more homey. And when you first walk in, it's actually, They've got a wall of all their bottles and you can buy their bottles and then there's a like a typical bar and while we were there a couple actually came in before they went out dancing and they were just getting a mm. couple drinks from Corsair their favorite and they there was a bartender there she mixed them up she wasn't very a happy bartender oh just saying now the gal that gave the tour was happy. she might watch she might watch this she, I'm glad you finished the sentence like that um she may <laughs> but that was the only thing that was a little weird it was like she and i was like did have we offended this gal i mean what did she expect you know with the storm nobody would show up because the gal who gave the tour is great the other gal was just like mm, mm. and then i got you know i was like well i just want xyz neat i think i got the wildfire is that what it is yeah i got the wildfire which i hadn't seen here oh and here's one other little thing and then we'll get to this i had their oat rage mm -hmm. their oat rage their a later batch was better than the one i have here their later batch had a coffee taste ending to it and that's mm -hmm. one thing that's unique from the distillery sometimes you get distinct differences even in the same name because they're they're more of a smaller batch I, I should have bought one of their oat rages because I came home and was like, yeah. And then I was like, no, this is not, it doesn't have a coffee finish to it or a chocolatey mm. coffee. It yeah. was delicious. So that's probably one thing you could get with the smaller distillery mm -hmm. and when they're operating in that smaller more capacity. Various. Yeah. Probably not yeah. as much uh, cons consistency. Yes. You would say. Or so, maybe, maybe they, they vary things up and try different things as well. They're very experimental. Um, she talked about how they'll try things and, and, and sometimes it just is like, yeah, that wasn't good. And that was the other thing the gal giving the tour said they get to taste a lot of stuff and and kind of weigh in and they had a very small room that was doing their bottling and their labeling i was like mm. wow i mean it was tiny i mentioned to them that when i was at the wiggle distillery in pittsburgh they actually have a deal where the public comes in and helps sticker and then they give them a little bit of a couple drinks and there's like guys that do date night and volunteer in. Saturdays yeah. and, and so they're stickering and they kind of I thought and she was like oh that's a neat idea do you want to score this um and I just got some of that unaged spirit that kind of that sour sure. sourish wood type yeah I'm gonna give deal. it I'm gonna give it a uh, probably an 80 um I mean it's not bad it's it's what i expected i love that they're throwing in some pumpkin kind of stuff and it comes through um i mean it's it's not something it's probably going to sit like this back there for for a long time it's not bad it's probably still better of the we had so we did the the poutine or the poitin and the buffalo trace white dog and this one this is probably my favorite of the three i don't know how to score it for a white dog an age spirit. I was thinking 83 to 85, so you went 80, so it's about yeah. it. I mean, it's a little, the thing is, not, it's not an age spirit, so you're not getting the wood flavors. You know, this is another um, one of those, kind of with the white dogs, where I'd like to buy a little, I don't have enough of this, but I don't know. I keep saying, I'm not going to go buy five gallons of this, is the problem. I'd love yeah. to like pour it in and actually age it a little bit, oh. but I don't have enough. And Oh, gotcha. You know, they make a little tiny thing, but that's. You can buy a one gallon one and, and get. I suppose. Don't you think you it'll over, over it would overwood it? Overwood? Yeah, but it only takes a couple months. Those it, that are doing that, sometimes they're only aging for reach. a couple months. Yeah. 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 I need to talk to Drink now, how much, Man. So, what's our. Uh, What's our cost on this? Do you remember? <laughs> I don't even remember. Oh. It's thirty to forty dollars, isn't right. it? Somewhere in there. Well, this, if you remember right, we were out at Groves and it was on the clearance rack oh, because that's right. uh, they bought it seasonally and it didn't move. Mm -hmm. So I got a heck of a deal. And I don't even remember what it is. I think it'd be pretty good if you're having a Halloween party sure. or something. Um, if you like pumpkin lattes. Yeah, you could you know. play around with it. You could do a lot of stuff with it. Yeah. I think if you're a mixologist or something. Yeah. So. All right. Well, happy Halloween. 
Um, this is the extent Let's of what we're doing. Tw- Happy Halloween 2017. 2017. You notice we just had a comment come in registering for our Tomatin giveaway. I saw that. That was a while back. And we had to date it. We said, like, you have to reply by, like, February 3rd of 2017. I know. And we just had a comment. I noticed that. I even had a comment. I didn't even, on the comment, I so, just said thanks. happy Halloween 2017. 2017. Happy Halloween. Enjoy your pumpkin pie. Scotch it, you Scotch gods. Cilantro. Dummies. Dummies.